it's Patty. I just got back from Aldi and I wanted to show you what groceries I got from there. I'm also heading to Walmart because unfortunately Aldi ha was out of a lot of their produce and me, I think from the hurricane and all of that stuff, they're behind on shipments. So I wasn't able to get everything I needed so I'm going to be going to Walmart next. But I wanted to go ahead and show you all of the things I got from Aldi before I put it away. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up. So I picked up this whole milk vanilla yogurt. The kids really like that and I like it too. I got Parmesan cheese for a, um, and we're gonna be doing pasta and meat sauce, so to sprinkle over and also for like salads and stuff like that. I got feta cheese for salad. Um, they came out with their pumpkin spice cream cheese, so I picked that up. We already have bagels, so um, we keep some on hand like in our freezer, so that way we have that. I got butter for like toast and then like the, uh, other like stick butter. I got croissants, not for anything specific, but just to have on hand, um, because I've come across a few recipes where I would like to use that. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, Colby Jack cheese for sandwiches, Italian cheese just to have on hand, and then a string cheese for the kids for snacks, and then salami for sandwiches. Then I picked up two loaves of this um, split top wheat bread. And then I'm making beef stew and I thought um, garlic knots would be like a nice side with that. I got clementines, bananas. Um, we have quite a few eggs, so I just picked up a dozen this time, but we go through a ton, so, but we have two other 18 packs, so I just picked up a dozen. Chris is gonna be grilling on Thursday, so I picked up zucchini for him to grill. I got some English muffins. Garlic, just for recipes. Potatoes, um, I'm gonna be doing roasted potatoes one night and then I'm also doing beef stew, so I'll use half the pack. Um, I got grapes, I got tomatoes for salad. I got, hold on, daddy has to wash them. I got strawberries, which my daughter's trying to get into. <laughs> Lemons, um, just to have on hand, onions. Carrots for the beef stew. Cheese, just to snack on. Whole milk for the kids. Cucumber, I'm gonna do a tomato and cucumber salad. Peppers, I'm doing like a turkey um, Asian wraps. So I got those, do you want the strawberries? Thank you. Then I got, they had dragon fruit and my husband likes that, so I got that for him. Um, strawberries, I also grabbed cumin and um, I use this as like chicken seasoning. And then I also got Italian seasoning. I was out of all of those. And then I got beef broth for the beef stew I'm gonna make. Peanut butter crackers for snacks. I'm doing pasta and meat sauce one day, so I went ahead and picked up some, we like using the angel hair for that. And um, we already have sauce. Then I got these as a snack for the kids as well as these. These I just, it was an impulse buy. It was like one of their specialty items. Aldi always has like a section of like specialty items. So I got that for, just to try. Then I got a whole bunch of pouches for the kids, a ton of these, these, and these. They really like um, applesauce pouches, so I always try to get some. Um, and then I got some decaf coffee, K-cups. I got this sweet Memphis barbecue sauce. We've had it before and we like it. Then I got this kombucha for my husband to try. It's the fruit punch, tropical punch. Uh, flavor. Then I got some mums. I've never bought mums before and they only had it where the buds were not bloom but um, they were really really cheap and last year I waited to see if they had sold some that were not like with the buds out and they sold out so I decided to go ahead and get them and hopefully they'll bloom. Let me know if you guys know about mums <laughs> and how they do. Um, I also got Ziploc bags, paper plates, I got oops, I got red wine for the beef stew, then white wine just to cook in like chicken and like sometimes I like to saute onions and wine and do that. Then I got extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil, sparkling water. I got pancakes for, I'm 32 weeks pregnant now and some mornings I just wake up not feeling well so if I don't make eggs, I'll make these for the kids. Then dinosaur chicken nuggets for the kids. And then breakfast sausage, bacon. And then the only meat I was able to find for my meal plan was the ground turkey. So I still have to go get the rest of the meats I need. And then I got a bag of frozen green beans. Now let me show you what I picked up from Walmart. Okay, here is a look at the things I picked up from Walmart. 
First, I grabbed one of these um, hay straw bale things for our front porch. I grabbed lettuce. This one is for lettuce wraps, and then tonight we're having salad, so I grabbed this one for the salad. Um, and then I got some avocados, because I'm gonna be doing like a cucumber, tomato, avocado salad in the future, so I got that. For, and then I got like a Florida avocado for tonight for dinner, because these were the only ones that were ready. Then I got chicken breast, some stew meat for the beef stew I'm making, and then some grass-fed ground beef for the pasta meat sauce. Then I got Texas toast because we're having salad tonight to put in there. The um, We homeschool and one of the days this week is gonna be an apple day. So I thought these would be really fun for breakfast when we do our apple day. And then I got these um, pumpkin or cupcake liners that I thought would be great because they have some that are pumpkins and some that are fall leaves. So I thought the fall leaf one would be perfect for September or Thanksgiving time. And then the pumpkins would be cute for Halloween. And then I picked these up for Halloween too. Um, this is just like a cute little garland. And then napkins. They didn't have the matching plates, but I'm hoping eventually they'll bring the matching plates. Then I got some water enhancers. One is the Walmart brand, and then one is this uh, Stir brand, and there's a sweet and stevia, so I really like that. Then this is the um, marinade I use a lot of times on my chicken thighs when I don't make my own marinade. So this year we're gonna be, this week we're gonna be using this. And then I picked up a rotisserie chicken to go with our salad for dinner tonight. So that is everything I picked up from Walmart. Now let me show you my meal plan for the week. Okay, here is my menu for the week. One day, I don't put these in any order, I just kind of list the things on the menu. So one day I'm gonna marinate chicken thighs overnight with the mojo that I showed you guys. Do roasted potatoes. With the roasted potatoes, I just do onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and salt. And then I'm doing a cucumber, avocado, and tomato salad, and I just put olive oil and salt in that. Then another night I'm gonna do Asian turkey wraps and I will leave the recipe for the one I use. I change out a couple things, but I'll just leave the general recipe in the, in the description box linked. Then one night we're gonna do pasta, meat sauce, green beans. Then one night my husband is going to be, I'm gonna marinate chicken breast the night before and he's gonna grill it. He's gonna grill some zucchini and then I'm gonna make some rice. And the way I'm gonna be grilling the chicken is I'm going to be using a little bit of avocado oil, garlic, lemon juice, and then some of the dressing from uh, Trader Joe's is called Green Goddess Dressing, and it's like a cilantro dressing. So it's gonna be kind of like an herby cilantro chicken. So that's how I'm gonna marinate that. Then I'm gonna be doing beef stew. I do change the recipe on this one too, but I'm gonna list a recipe that I follow general and then I'm going to be doing breakfast for dinner probably um, pancakes or waffles and then bacon and eggs and then for the seventh meal we're going to be um, eating out one night with some family so that is our meals for the week